Hey there, Louie. You know, I was out at that Fisher River Park celebration. It was the 20th anniversary, actually, of the park. They have a ton of fields out there, and they're right across from where they can access uh, the river for kayaking and all kinds of activities out there. We were all blown away by the end of the day, and that was because that cold front is moving in, and we are bringing in that wind. But thanks to them for having me out there. It was really honored to be able to MC that event today. We also had Jack Marion performing. Just an incredible afternoon of live music. Taylor Vaden, of course, was out there too. And we enjoyed a little bit of that sunshine coming back. Not so much the wind though. Blowing around those leaves for us. Temperatures now down into the low 40s overnight. 30s in the mountains. We take you down to 43 in the trine. About 36 in the mountains. This is where we could be even colder and certainly feeling colder because of that breeze that stays up overnight. Tomorrow, look at highs. They are pretty cool compared to those 80s. We had 80s this morning in some spots like uptown Lexington and areas of Asheboro. 56 though in the mountains tomorrow. Look at this beautiful view from Andrew Mann. Lynn Cove Viaduct. Some of his photos from earlier this week. You could see some good color beginning to show. We've got some maples out there, sourwoods all starting to show their color. And if you're driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway tomorrow, expect the winds to still stay up. So please use caution if you have those high profile vehicles. But this one coming in from, yeah, Randy Carter showing us from Julian Price Park at the BRP at Hebron Falls. Beautiful up there along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Another shot of him at Stone Mountain State Park. Not a lot of color showing yet. He's just underneath these waterfalls. He knows exactly where all the waterfalls are in Stone Mountain State Park. Some of them you have to go into the back country to find and he knows them, but he's saying that we're expecting to see some more color there soon, hopefully too, but peaking in Western North Carolina. So this is up in Boone, Blowing Rock and heading out through Sparta and Ennis as we get you into this coming week into next weekend. Yeah, that'll be around the 20th and points after. So looking at those cloud cover conditions today, we had lots of clouds rolling through with that cold front. Now a northwesterly wind is keeping us cool. 10 to 15 mile an hour winds and we've got 52 degrees in Hayes, 56 in Mount Airy, 43 though in areas like Boone and Sparta and down into the upper 30s at this hour in Beach Mountain. The winds are kicking there too, so gusts are going to be more likely along those upper elevations. 47 in Reedsville, 55 Stokesdale and highs typically 71 this time of the year. So we had early morning temperatures that were warmer through midday and then really dropped off about 11 degrees cooler than where we were at this time yesterday. And you can see the significant temperature drops all the way back through Kentucky, down through Tennessee and parts of Alabama. We've got that upper low swinging through and we're gonna have a series of these. This is what happens during the middle of fall. You know, we see these lows kind of roll through. We get these cool downs and then we get these warm ups as the ridge of high pressure builds back north again this week. This is where our temperature Temperatures will come back into the mid and upper 70s. We'll look forward to that, although unfortunately it doesn't have a lot of rain. It is going to be milder toward the end of the week and then another warm up as we get you into the start of the following week. So you see this back and forth dance that we do with these temperatures typically this time of the year. 71, typically 79 though officially for that high in Greensboro today. Tomorrow that 36 degree temperature is going to be very chilly, so make sure you're warming up in the mountains if you can and wearing those layers tomorrow. Gust to 25 with highs at 56. How about for the Piedmont from 43 to near 65 degrees and again gusts to 20 miles an hour. Not as gusty in areas like Mount Airy or North Wilkesboro. A little bit more wind protected right in the foothills, but you've got breezy weather still making you feel cooler with 64. Now that first frost and freeze, we've got a couple weeks away to deal with it in the triad. Could happen though at any time and just in time for that full moon. About this time that we see the full moon for this month, you can see from Paul Gerst sharing this gorgeous shot of the moon. We know our next one is officially on October 20th, this coming Wednesday, and it happens it's officially at 6.54, known as the Hunter's Moon. Time to gather that meat, right, for the Native American. This was an important time as well, and lots of sunshine. It's cold. We've got chilly morning conditions in 40s, back into the 70s a little later in the week.